It's quite similar to Tomaha, but I think it deserves its own section. It's the world's fastest serve, at least try. Okay. <laughs> I knew exactly where it was going and I still didn't touch it. Oh, that was fast. What, what happened? So, to not serve the fastest, you need um, enough time for it to curve down onto the table or it will be like this so you need to find the longest route which is from this corner to that corner All right, and you see the stroke is basically a backhand tomahawk so like this and then pew. Pew. so it's got a lot of tossing for the ball to drop onto the, uh, the other side and also a bit of side spin, so it's got an even longer route for it to reach the other side. So now, a couple of important points. First, you need to contact the ball um, around the height of the net, if not lower. Because you don't want it to bounce a lot. You want to just go over the net and then touch the other side. So you have to contact the ball really low, somewhere here and then apply a little bit of vertical force for it just jump over the net. And then, you, uh, when you contact the ball, you have to use a lot of wrist. You need a lot of spin. This ball is not about um, hitting. It's mainly brushing. Because it has top spin, once it reaches on the table, it's um, like a kick serve. So it accelerates on the table. And now, the difference between a backhand tomahawk and this is a backhand tomahawk your um, racket is almost vertical. With this one, um, you need much more uh, top spin than side spins. So you need to tilt your body and then contact the ball here so it, it goes um, on top of the ball. Like this. And then afterwards, you gotta use your body to help you whip the ball. It's like, it's like a whip. So you need a lot of Spin. If you want to practice this, then start slow. Just try to um, put a lot of spin on the ball. So, just try to um, put a lot of spin on the ball. Really get down. You, you know. So this part has to accelerate with, with your body. Professionals, no, I don't know, but for amateur, this is pretty good serve. Pretty fast and pretty spinny. And of course, you can have other placements, for example, if we do uh, one down the line. Oh, no, not like that. And another serve coming from this is the uh, using reverse side to serve a uh, long, fast serve. And you can use this with a uh, backspin, you know, and backspin. This with a uh, backspin, you know. Back Same for pen hole, you have this um, reverse side serve.
Um, it's a preference, but uh, usually your feet should be pretty parallel to the table. And then um, you can either put your left hand under your racket or um, sometimes above. It doesn't really matter. First, when you throw up the ball, you swing your racket to your left and at the same time rotate your body towards the left. Okay? And then shift your center of gravity to your right leg. And sometimes you see players, their left leg leaves the ground. So this helps with weight transfer. So now you're here, and then you have to swing your um, arm in a uh, semicircle and a motion towards your right. It's so like an arc. And then you're just using your forearm mainly. And then at the end, you gotta use your wrist for this part. Okay. And then together with that, um, your body should turn back to a normal position. So this weight transfer is very important, like this. And uh, I get a lot of people saying, you know, um, off jolf. He, he does this and then whoop, this big motion, which is useless. But uh, I think there's a point to it, you know. He's a world-class player and he does it for a reason, right? And serve, let's see what happens. Experiment. And it's there was a serve warning. Rushing to the crowd earlier, they loved it. Got it. So when he starts, he stands like this. His body is already rotated towards the left. And then he can rotate even more. And then come here. So that um he's uh, increasing his rotation. And so uh, his spin is higher as well. And uh, why does he stand so low? Um, that I don't know. Does anybody know? It's kind of kind of tiring. So in order to do his serve, he stands up, throws up the ball, and then he takes his um, left leg one step backwards. So they balance out his body, and uh, uh, so he can also keep the ball short. So like this. Always wherever you stand, um, you contact the ball uh, when you uh, step into the ground. So that's one motion. And you have to concentrate your power on that one point. Then you can see he also increases uh, his uh, forearm motion. So he raises his forearm behind his, like, uh, beside his neck. And then he has this huge um, wrist movement right here. He uses, so it's Everything's bigger, so he can produce um, more uh, more spin and uh, more power. So now let's talk about spin. Of course, we usually contact the ball um, at the lower back, and then if you go upwards, then that's top side spin. If you just go normally forward, then that's a back spin, and uh, if just to the side, then that's a side spin. And it's usually pretty straightforward. But most people use this serve as an alternative and uh, usually they serve these um, really short um, soft balls so it's really hard for your opponent to uh, utilize the whatever force carry on the ball and to flip kill or you know even uh, push short so they usually do this really soft now let's talk about placement. Forehand short is a really good position, and uh, sometimes if you uh, combine it with backhand long, and uh, very rarely you see people uh, serve to their backhand short. So now, if you want to fool your opponent, then uh, you can do this. When you serve a backspin, at the end, you can tuck your um, racket up, so it looks like a. Looks like a side spin or a top spin. Also, you can do a top spin this way. So it looks like your rack is pretty flat and you went down. But uh, at the end, you have this little movement. Move up. So uh, that's a pretty spinny top spin. More happy for him. Backhand serve once again. Two game points. Anyone scoring more points? Get the ball though.
And I've seen Malone use the surf um, in uh, one tournament when he's playing with John Zico. He was behind by a lot, but uh, I guess he was trying to change things up, but it, it worked a little bit. But this one you can't serve long because it doesn't have too much spin. One is gonna kill you. But uh, if you serve short, it could be a surprise, I guess. Um, so basically, you have to um, stick out your elbow and really high, and then let this drop and uh, kind of draw a curve right here. And uh, if you just go straight, then your ball's gonna go go that way. So uh, you need this curve to go that side a little bit. So follow the, the, this path. Try this first, just get a feeling, and then you can barely add spin on it. So you can just, so you have to stay low center of gravity, like this. Stay low and then contact the ball around the height of the net. It's still pretty high. Now let's talk about regular pendulum serves. So if you're a right hand player, then it's a left side spin. So include the uh, corkscrew spin and the uh, side spin in uh, this chapter. I have uploaded a video before, it's called Decoding Ju Mishitani's Serve. I uh, went over the step by step procedures of a uh, cork spin serve. And uh, if you haven't watched it, please go check it out. I won't repeat the steps here. So just to recap, this is your back spin, and when you want side spin on it and corkscrew spin, then you um, hit the ball at an angle and you brush it at that angle. So it's very easy, nothing special. Grip I recommended was uh, putting three fingers on the side so you can have uh, a little bit more force, but also you can still do this. Um, so now let's talk about spin. So usually we think if your racket is going down, it's back spin, and if it's uh, brushing up, then it's a top spin. Yeah, that's true, that's the basics, and you should practice that. So that's back spin, and that's top spin. But in order to fool your opponent, this is not enough. So you have to produce a similar motion for a uh, different kind of spins. So I'm, let me use Mr. Tani as an example. He uses this serve um, very often, so it's a high top serve, and he makes this corkscrew uh, and side spin serve. It's so he serves the ball very close to his body and his actions are very similar. Schlager. If you want to have the same movement, let's say up spin, uh, up service, let's say Mitsutani. It's not always up, or my high post serve. Okay, you go up, but it's down spin. How come? Because, because I hit the ball, not on the back hemisphere, but on the front hemisphere. So I hit here. Okay. I hit here. Down speed. Okay. So if I hit here, as we saw, it's down speed. And if I hit 
not here, but here, that means here, it's up speed. You see? Yeah. It's almost like uh, David Copperfield is presenting a magic trick then. Oh, it's so easy! Obviously. Okay? So, that means this is obviously up spin. And the change is only here. You make the same movement up. If, I, if you make like this change, only this is changing. I make this change, it's down speed. And if you make this change, it's up speed. And half speed. And back speed. Yeah, a little bit different is uh, how Tristan Ford does his serves. He is also a high tosser. You just gotta practice the toss. That's the most important thing if you wanna do his serve. So after he contests the ball, he doesn't have this extra motion. He just stops here. It looks like um, he's always going sort of forward and downwards. And then and at the end, he has this little motion. So he just stops here. So when he does the backspin, he stops here, by taking the bottom. When he does a top spin, he also stops here. Um, he's going down and then this little part um, sort of brush it upwards. Six. Rolling the ball over the edge of the racket between points. Fast. careful not to do the serve in the basement. Now I also have one more, um, which is Sapsono, I have to mention it. It's very special he serves. He stands somewhere in the middle of the, ra uh, of the table, throws really high, and he scoops up the ball at the end, so like, um, like a shovel. So um, one special point about, about these high toss serves is that you can serve really um, soft means it doesn't really go uh, forward that much so it's really hard for your opponent to utilize your force especially in some sort of serve he just puts the ball on the other side so um, it's really really hard to attack those balls and also I guess high toss serve comes down faster so you have more mo momentum you, have. you can put more spin onto the ball and other than that the stroke is pretty simple um, so uh, back spin, top spin, uh, um, it's very clear in some of serve. On this serve, I want to introduce the point uh, about placement. So some sort of has uh, has many placements for his serves. Um, forehand short, uh, middle short, and uh, backhand short. But uh, mainly, I, I, I recommend you serve uh, forehand short uh, more than backhand. And uh, he has another. Um, he has other two lines of the long serves, uh, one over there, uh, one to the other side. And these two are pretty, uh, usually very effective. So it controls your opponent and uh, makes your opponent think uh, which serve is going to be uh, next. And also this curve uh, sort of screws with the uh, judgment of the ball. So it's a great serve if you can uh, master it.
And also just a tip, for this serve, um, it will be more comfortable for you to uh, attack the next ball using forehand so you can uh, anticipate the next ball and uh, uh, prepare to use your forehand to attack. Usually World Class players, they have another serve coming with this serve, um, they're using the same motion, um, which, is, which looks like this. So which is a uh, sort of like a backspin or sometimes backspin, sometimes no spin to the uh, far forehand corner, so this part. And it acts as a surprise. For example, if you have the first one, here we have a long one, the opponent's gonna um, you know, have this thought, oh, it's, you're gonna serve that again. And then you serve another oh, forehand short. Trying games. Those are high toss serves, and usually they have uh, more spin and uh, more of a curve. But before you master high toss, you have to uh, get the basics right, which is high, uh, low toss. And low toss could be very effective um, as well. And basic motion um, and the uh, mechanics are the same, and how you uh, can produce different spins are the same. So here I want to add another placement, which is the backhand uh, corner, so like this. Now this serve um, is very effective when you serve it low and just um, out of the table and your opponent might uh, attempt to loop it um, in light loop and then you can use your forehand to uh, counter uh, over the table. Rating out so that, that straight away that would tell us that I'm a little bit more touch. And he manages to avoid it by staying really healthy and working hard. And this serve is most frequently used when you're playing against a player who's the, uh, who uses the other hand. For example, I'm a right hand, and then if I serve to a left hand, I would have that placement. And uh, the other player might attempt uh, to lightly loop it up, and uh, I'll just sort of get ready for my forehand counter um, uh, all over the table. And sometimes they uh, just miss the ball entirely. Wow. Wow.行了，要是拉直线的话，这球肯定，但直线难度也非常大，确实。来，你看。哎，这就是注意的这个角度就多了嘛。对，他你看，哎呀，来了，哎，又一个。哎，哎，哎，哎，哎，哎，
after you uh, contact the ball, you move immediately, immediately away, and it's really hard to tell um, which way you end up uh, brushing the ball. So it's mainly your um, elbow. So after you contact the ball, you can jerk your elbow forward, and also your uh, shoulder as well. So it's this part. And uh, you can flip your arm as well, or uh, go forward. And also you can have your own. Here we are, so I hope you got something out of this video and uh, try them in your games and see how you do. Anyways, if you have any question, any question at all, please leave a comment and uh, I'll get back to you. Please let me know. And thank you for watching and have fun playing.